Hi. When I was testing the ROI-DI unit, I noticed the water pressure is at 55. That's fine for a 75 gallon per day unit, but with the double, the water saver package, it actually goes 150 gallons a day. The water pressure should be between 65 and 80. So I bought a booster pump and today I'm going to install it. Here's the Aquatech pressure booster pump I got from Bulk Reef Supply. There's arrows on the top indicating direction of flow, and this is going to be connecting to your supply water. So I'm going to mount this right here because I have a stud here. So I want to get at least half of it on a stud, and then we'll connect the um, red supply line to here and over. I want to get two studs. Or two screws in the stud. So I'm going to mark those. And drill some holes. These two will be in the studs. Those I'm going to put some drywall anchors into. I make this last two holes a little bit bigger to get the anchors into. Okay, I put an extension on here so I can get over the motor I'm going to screw this in. Hopefully my arm's not in the way too bad. The mounts on this are springy, so they absorb some of the vibration. And see that it moves a little bit. That's fine. So I'm going to put the other two in. Okay, got it mounted, so I'm going to remove the rubber caps that are shipped with it. Just pull those out. That's where we'll connect the supply. Note that the recommendation is that you mount this either with the tubes on top, is the preferred method, or on the side secondary, but on the bottom, you might get air trapped in here, which may prevent flow later on. But because of the location to the electrical here, I want to keep it clear, so I don't want it directly above. So I'm going to mount it to the side. I mounted it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and connect the slot supply line. I'll just snap off the clip I had on there before. And it's going to go in there like this. So I'm going to cut this. Stick those in. Like that. I bought the pump with a pressure switch. This turns the pump off when there's no pressure being used. And that's going to connect right in here. So we're going to cut this. Stick this in, and it can go either way. There's no direction of flow, it just detects pressure. And these will plug in over here. Okay, this is the power supply for the pump. What we're going to do, this is the pressure switch. 
these plug in as male and female with a little notch there. This will plug in here. And the other one plugs in to the pump. Same thing, except opposite. So you can't make a mistake. Okay. I'm going to set this, there's a lot of cord here, down below. Turn your water supply on. Remember, I put the little valves on there to turn it on. So I have the water supply going through now. You hear the pumps on. You see it vibrates a little bit, but like I said, that's why they have the flexible mounts. The water pressure is just above 90, about 95, which is still a little too high. There is an adjustment on here that we'll make to we'll turn it down. It can only go down. Um, and then we'll test it when I turn the water off to make sure the pump goes off. I'm going to adjust this. Try not to get in your way. Get a little screwdriver here. down to about 85 right there it says don't go any higher than 90 I got it at 85 so it should be fine All right, so we're right at 85 and the last thing you want to do is test the cutoff switch so the idea is when this thing's full the water comes up, cuts off the supply for the supply to the tank, and builds up pressure on this and should shut the motor off. So I'm holding this closed to see if it shuts off. It may take a little bit, so sorry, it's boring. There it goes. It shut off. So it's working. There is a little adjustment on that top screw right there. If you need, if it doesn't shut off when the pressure's off. Um, but that's it. That's installing the uh, booster pump. I got my pressure right and uh, looking forward to setting up the quarantine tank next. Thanks a lot.